Timothy Donald Cook was born on November the 1st, 1960 in Mobile, Alabama. He has a humble background. Tim Cook's father Donald was a shipyard worker and his mother Geraldine worked at a pharmacy and took care of Jim and his two brothers Gerald and Michael. He graduated from Robertsdale High School in 1978 and came in second best of his year. I wonder how successful the one who beat him is now. He earned a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Design from Auburn University, Alabama in 1982. In 1988, he completed an MBA at the Duke University's Fuqua School of Business in North Carolina. By the way, Cook wasn't only a good student, he also knows about hard work. As a teenager, he had several jobs. For example, at a paper mill, an aluminum plant, and he worked part-time at his mother's pharmacy. Cook has definitely made a name for himself before working for Apple. He's worked for the tech company IBM for 12 years, acted as COO for Intelligent Electronics and then became the Vice President for Corporate Materials at Compaq in 1997. Shortly after, Steve Jobs wanted him to join Apple. And of course he accepted the offer because who could say no to Steve Jobs? By the way, in 1998 Apple was really struggling and many people believed the end was near. But Tim Cook and Steve Jobs managed to turn things around. Cook joined Apple as Senior Vice President for Worldwide Operations. On August 24th, 2011, he followed in some very big footsteps. Steve Jobs resigned for health reasons and Tim Cook became his successor. Jobs died shortly after in October from pancreatic cancer. By the way, Tim Cook once offered a piece of his liver to Jobs because he needed a transplant in 2009. But Jobs shouted at Cook, I'll never let you do that, and got really angry. Cook later remembered that in their 12 years of working together, Jobs had only yelled at him three or four times, and this was one of them. When Cook was named CEO of Apple, many people wondered how he would do without Jobs. Some didn't find him charismatic enough. Turns out, Cook was a great choice, at least from a financial point of view. Between 2011 and 2020, Apple's market value increased from 296 billion euros to 1.6 trillion euros, making it the most valuable company in the world. So, Tim Cook must be doing something right. Maybe you're thinking, okay, this is old news, I knew all of this. But what about the following three facts? Cook describes himself as a fitness nut. He works out in the mornings, before he goes to work. Cook also likes to go hiking and rides his bike a lot. According to his Twitter profile, he's a big fan of basketball and football and he loves national parks. Cook's passion for fitness could also be behind the Apple Watch. After all, it was the very first product Apple launched under CEO Tim Cook. Can you imagine Tim Cook being the Vice President of the United States? He must have been just as surprised when he found out that his name was on a list for potential Vice Presidents for Hillary Clinton in 2016. Cook has openly supported Clinton and has donated to the campaigns of the Democrats before. But being a politician himself, that's not really one of his goals, even though he meets quite a lot of them. In 2016, WikiLeaks published some emails that were written by or addressed to Hillary Clinton. They were hacked by Russians to influence the election. One of the emails was a document that listed potential vice presidents. And Cook wasn't the only tech titan on that list, also Bill Gates and his wife Melinda Gates were named. But in the end, Clinton picked Tim Kaine, the senator of Virginia. Tim Cook is a super early riser. He gets up every morning at around 3.45 a.m. Some people would still consider this night instead of morning. He first spends about one hour answering emails, but most days he doesn't even manage to read them all. According to ABC News, the CEO receives 700 to 800 emails a day. After he's done with emails, I already mentioned it, he heads to the gym to get in a 50-minute workout. He says that's how he manages to keep his stress at bay. After the workout he stops at Starbucks to grab a coffee and then 
heads to the office. Although Tim Cook keeps quiet about his private life, he has a lot to say when it comes to things that matter to him. He once spoke out against climate change deniers and told Apple's shareholders if they wanted him to only make the biggest profit while neglecting environmental issues, they should get out of the stock. Cook is also an advocate for LGBTQ rights. He was the first chief executive of one of the top 500 companies in the US to come out as gay. When he publicly came out in 2014, he said many Apple employees knew about his sexuality and for him it wasn't something he was trying to hide. He just wanted private things to stay private. But Cook then changed his mind and started talking about being gay. He thought if he comes out publicly, being the CEO of Apple, he might help young people who are afraid to accept or talk about their sexuality. He must have been inspired by the Martin Luther King quote you can find in his Twitter bio. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? What do you think of Tim Cook? Did you know all of this about him? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Everyone take care, stay safe and have a great day.